day 30. That's a wrap. We're done. We did it. I'm so excited. Oh, today was actually kind of difficult because there's that like that sense of like in 24 hours I can do whatever I want. I can make my own choices. I can be my own person. So who cares if I do it today as well? And I went, no, I said I was going to do 30, so I'm going to do 30. I'm going to, I want to finish well. Um, so I did. That's it. Someone came by today and asked me for, if I wanted a donut. And he was like, I'm going to wave it in front of you. I don't know why people think that's a funny trick. Where, like, if someone's dieting, you, like, put food in front of them to tempt them, or I guess. I don't know. It's not a good look. If you do that, don't do it. Uh, it's not funny. You just come across kind of as a jerk. But, yeah, I wasn't the least bit tempted. I wasn't disappointed that I couldn't partake. It was fine. Uh, the red vines no longer mean anything to me. Yeah, I didn't quite have enough breakfast today, so I had an apple earlier, and it was, it was fine. Yeah, I did good. And today, to finish the whole 30, the whole thing, I made curry. And I finally got it right. So here's the secret about curry that I didn't know. Curry is basically red curry powder, coconut milk, and crushed red pepper with stuff in it. That's it. That's the whole secret. If you do that, you can do curry. Uh, so yeah, I made a bunch of veggies, made some chicken, put it all in the thing. Put, the, put all the uh, aforementioned curry secret ingredients in there. And I had curry. And it was awesome. It tasted just like real life curry. Um, the, I almost, so my gut was telling me that there wasn't enough like liquid. and But I went, no, I'm following a recipe. So I got to, I want to do it the way it was intended the first time. And then I can modify from there. So I can say, oh, I doubled the coconut milk, but this time it didn't work out as well. And go, oh, it's because I did that. I made that change. But at least wanted to try the base recipe as is. Um, and I wish I would have trusted my gut on that one. Because there wasn't enough liquid. Um, which brings to mind the one of the... F yeah, I, don't, I still don't know how I'm going to break this diet. Like, what I'm going to try and reintegrate first. Um, but one thing I want to try and see how my body feels with is rice. Because this curry would have been perfect if it was over rice. Um, and cauliflower or rice, I'm sorry, you're just not rice. You, you're you named rice, but you're not. People are lying to you. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the situation. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm no longer under the, the slave, enslaved by the oppressive diet. Uh, but yeah, I also don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna break it. The I did get an email from a barbershop person saying like, hey, it's someone so and so's last day for a while, so we're gonna throw a party. There's gonna be pizza and cake. And I was like, there you go, problem solved. I'm gonna feel real bad on Thursday morning. And then we said, oh, but it's at this, it's at the an afterglow, which I've watched my other videos if you don't know what an afterglow is. We do apparently an afterglow after every rehearsal, and I don't partake because I have to go to work the next day. Uh, so I'm not going to be involved in any of that. So it's still up for grabs how I'm going to break my fast. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So yeah, whole 30. I don't know. I may keep doing these to, to do like reintegration. And I know I asked Johanna if she would do like a live, uh, version of this just to like debrief and talk about it. Um, and maybe take questions if there's questions. Um, so we may do that. Who knows? Up for grabs. We'll see. Uh, yeah. So that's that's whole thirty. See how easy it is. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I mean, it is, but it's not. Um, yeah. In reflection, you can do anything for thirty days. And if I can do it, you can do it. I had a very unhealthy addiction with food, and if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, so yeah, if you're feeling like you don't, you're not happy with your food choices, you don't like cooking, you don't like, 
uh, your diet, you don't like your body image, all those things, give all 30 a try, man. The worst that can happen is you get real sick on it and you go, never mind, not for me. You go back to eating your crap food. And like, you got nothing to lose. You can do anything for 30 days. You can uh, still stick to Whole30 despite traveling. You can still do it despite parties. You can still do it despite life circumstances. And it just helps you reevaluate your relationship to food. And it's worth it. I mean, we are talking about doing another one. Um, or just reintegrating food back into our life and see what how we feel. And if we don't feel good, then we won't have those food anymore. So we'll see. Thank you for... And I, so I know that I'm not exactly going to be a YouTube star with these video series. Uh, I have analytics. I know how few of you actually watch these. Um, but I do appreciate you because I have had moments of temptation and I've always said like, I have to record a video tonight. Do I really want to tell everyone that I gave in for some stupid red vines? Or do I really want to tell everyone that I, I ruined it because I couldn't not have a pretzel or whatever? Um, no, that's dumb. And so you guys help me accountable. Um, which is my ulterior motive for having done these. Um, was to have force you to be my accountability partner. So that worked. Thank you. You're awesome. Uh, thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens next. Uh, stay tuned. Maybe. Or not. No, it'll be a live thing. I think we'll at least do one more. Um, and then maybe I'll do a follow-up later. Who knows? That's all. Bye.